welcome to another video coverage of This Week in Rails. I'm David Kimura, and this week's coverage of This Week in Rails is from Patrick. And if you would like to receive the email version of This Week in Rails, you can go to world.hey.com forward slash this.week.n.rails. So let's dive right into this week's topics. The first item, and kind of the second item as well, is to support more permission policy directives and then also deprecating the obsolete ones. And so as browsers start supporting new features, our Rails application can take advantage of those or block those depending on our situation. And so for the second item, instead of adding permissions, some permissions that have kind of fallen to the wayside or just no longer used are obsolete have now been removed. So we are going to start getting some deprecation notices if you are using those in your applications. The third item is to allow direct uploads to work within engines. And this one is really great because as we are working with engines more to kind of extract our code or to make it more simple or modular, then we find that we lose some of the aspects of a Rails application when working with an engine. So I like that a lot of the recent updates that we have been receiving is addressing a lot of the engine related issues, whether it was the email testing or in this case, the direct upload. And the next one is gonna be really cool as it advances and matures. And that is the language server support for Rails applications. A lot of other languages or frameworks have had this feature, especially with like the Phoenix Live View, where as you are making changes, you can directly see those changes appear on your screen. And so seeing this support coming to Rails soon is going to be really cool. And this one appears to be a Rails engine made by Aaron Patterson, and it is the refreshing library. So if you think that you're gonna be able to pull this into your application and start using it right away, do note that this is a work in progress and it is something that only supports currently with the Falcon application service. But I am really excited to see how this is going to mature and grow over the years. And over the past week, there were 14 contributors to the Rails framework. So I really appreciate each one that has contributed to the Rails framework. It looks like we also got some new first time contributors, which is always wonderful to see. So again, thank you so much for your contributions to help make Rails better. And just so you know, I have been planning on doing some new additional things with Drift and Ruby. So I want to start doing some live streaming and just want to get some thoughts and ideas around what you were interested in seeing. So I would do a live streaming on the weekend or sometime where I'm just answering some questions that you may have. It could be about really anything. I would entertain just about any kind of tech related question. And I'm also thinking about doing some live coding sessions or you may have some other ideas. So just drop a note in the comments and let me know. Well, again, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.